Haystacks. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? He got a project coming soon. You yep. know what I'm saying? But we're going to go through some of this, some of these classic hits he already got today. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Yeah, y'all. Um, I go by Stacks. Y'all find me everywhere at Haystacks. Uh, from the north side, Gwinnett County, Norcross, to be exact. I ain't false claiming Atlanta. No. <laughs> oh, what's what's y'all the name? That what you talking about? <laughs> yeah, what's, I ain't man. false. I ain't, don't come for me, please don't come for me. Man, well, she done shot from the video out and called. From Norcross. She shot the video and called. Down the street from my. <laughs> that crazy. The crib. Nah, she was at, yeah. at the stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The song hard, though. I ain't gonna lie. I like the song. I get what you going with. The song hard. I like it. I, I'm happy that somebody did. Somebody said something. Just to go. make it more clear. We're going to talk about that, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, nah, it's, yeah, it's, it's me. Uh, your all-around creative entrepreneur is what I consider myself to be. Um, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, yeah, we finna Check get in. into it. You know how we like to do We're going to crank it up first. I'm going to let you introduce Let you introduce this song right here. Yeah, this is my latest single, Break the Rules. Um, it's, I mean. What inspired I'm not, that guy? What inspired it? Inspired, like, really just, honestly, just breaking the rules, like. Following your own rules. Like, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been trying to change the law since I was, like, four. <laughs> been just doing my own thing. And I just feel like you shouldn't overcomplicate things. Like, if, you know, there's a situation going on and it's something that you know you, you want out of life, go after you know, it, go guy. after it. You know, if you got to break a couple rules to get it, that's cool. As long as it's true to you, you do that. So, Say less. Let's get into that thing, man. The rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That turn me up. So I, oh, we gonna turn you let, up. Let, let, let them hear this one right here. This be on. A, this gonna be on the album too. So okay, it's double trouble right here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Video going crazy. If y'all ain't see the video yet, yeah, go on there, go check it out. Edited by yours truly. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I told you about it, I know I love you still You know I'm for the streets, but you can't go out there I wanna be around you, girl, you know I feel The tension in the air, but baby, don't ask scared, yeah, yeah What you thinking, what you wanna do in here, yeah I'm in your business, I know you got a boo in here I'm on a mission, I see pussy popping everywhere But you the diamond, I just gotta make it clear you feel what I'm saying in there? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just making a catchy hook. Like, we talking that. We, we, we know. What you tell them? I still love you. Still need you. What it do? Let's break all the rules. I still love you. Still need you. What it do? Let's break all the rules. I still love you. Still need you. What it do? Let's break all the rules. I still love you. Still need you. What it do? Wait a minute, all that talk, you better come and see me I'm about my business, baby, you the only one I'm real I'm gonna be it, but I'ma be it like a genius We undefeated, breaking all the rules and finding reasons Big up, bitch, that's how your face like that You told your girls that you gon' be right back You give me head and I'ma split your back Then we can smoke and talk about the rash I still love you, still need you, what it do? Oh yeah, that's good. Fucking with that, that, that booze. It's the real shit, you gotta bring this line back real quick. <laughs> like, I thought I told you about it, I know I love you still. You know I'm for the streets, but you can't go out there. I want to be around you. Girl, you know I feel. Attention in the air, but baby, don't ask scared, yeah. That's that line. Hey, that's that, that's that shit right there. That's, that's that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with that. I'm fucking with that all y'all the way. Y'all give me on the radio, man. Y'all play, y'all play that. Go run it up, man. Go Wait, look, y'all make somebody, somebody, some, play it for somebody. I'm telling you. Play send it for it somebody, somebody, but call the station and start requesting it. Mm-hmm. Call the station, start requesting it. You know what I'm saying? Making sure y'all go to the to the YouTube, go make sure you support that, support all the music, just overall, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, being from the north side. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying, what got you in the music? Like, what, what, what sparked that passion? Man, well, I got, I can't, I can't start with just me, I gotta go down, it's like a long line of music in my family, so, 
Um, all the way starting back from my granddad, um, my dad's dad. He okay. used to play uh, saxophone for Gladys Knight. Oh, and that's he, dope. Yeah, he used to be a music professor as well. Um, going in, my, going that that translated down to my dad. My dad ended up going to school for music, on a music scholarship uh, the Mississippi Valley. Um, my mama, she's from Grenada. She's from the island. My dad, my dad, he from the west side. So that's 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 where that style come from. That yeah, island, yeah, shit yeah. Mine. My, my mama from Grenada, um, and just like over there, they just you know heavy in the um, just heavy in the soca music, um, the pan playing the pan. I got uncles, cousins that play the pan, go crazy with it. So hey, t- t- what's the pan? So the pan is like a, it's literally like a, it looks like a pan. Okay. The big silver instrument. Oh, it's with the yeah, and you know that's like um, you if you think about Kodak Black, yeah, that thing that made like uh Soldier Boy's music really hit as a producer was that pan. That pan is just a uh, is a huge like island sound, and so right. like um that you know I got that side of the family to do that. My big brother. He was rapping when I was younger. My dad, we grew up him having jam sessions in his homies' uh, the studio, uh, garage, playing bass guitar, stuff like that. Um, was what my dad was crazy with. So I never really took a chance to learn an instrument yet. Um, okay. I grew up playing sports, and um, but the whole you, you time you like a ball player. Yeah, man, I played football <laughs> for like forever, man. <laughs> playing football forever, like. <laughs> But the whole time I was doing that, I would be writing. I would be I was always so he was always into the music. Always into the music. Like I'd be watching my big brother make make songs, listening to his songs. Always be like, hey, let me get a verse. He's like, bro, like sit down, some sit down, bro. Go, <laughs> go go run a touchdown. Go do something else. I'm like, bro, let me get on the track. You know, I'll always be writing shit. And he'll just like uh he he'll keep it G with me. Like, bro, this is trash. Like this is not like <laughs> this ain't it. Like you know, cause he older. He's uh, he like seven eight years older than me. So he never like just let me like. You know, just jump be, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what's, what's your first experience recording? First experience ever recording. Um, honestly, I had bought some equipment in college. Once I realized my football career was coming to an end. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so before you ever record anything, uh-huh. you bought some equipment. Yeah. Oh shit! You knew you was recording then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's like that's it's like I'm not gonna lie, bro. I looked at it as a very like music. I looked at it as like. It's media. It's a, it's another source of media, right? Like right. I think about the senses. I think about like I, I knew I needed to understand media. I needed to understand music. I needed a hand in it, and I needed to like I needed to be able to express myself in there properly. So like right. as I was coming to the end of college, you know, we'll get them refund checks. Anybody been in college, they know what's you up. Nobody the they waiting know, on them they guys. They know about the refund <laughs> checks. So when I was getting to my last ones, I was like, I'm not gonna spend no money on anything that can't make me money. If it can't make me money, or if it can't like produce something. I'm not spending no bread on it. So, um, I knew that I was going I knew that I was going to finally start pursuing music cuz I was like on the verge of either going to the NFL or not, but at the same time it's like I knew that now that I'm not like having to go to school and just focus right. on sports, I'm about to start putting my attention into music. So, so I went sports, out. Sports was your, your your main thing at first. Yeah, it was. It definitely was. So, I mean, what happened? You get injured or Um, nah, like so I mean, what so coming out of college, I wasn't I wasn't really marketing myself like that. I didn't really understand marketing, right? I, so, I don't understand. Um, what you mean, like so as, a, as a as, as a, a as an athlete, as, as an athlete. athlete. So like making sure that like I was training, I was working out. Um, I was getting scouted by teams. I mean, because I, I, right now I'm in the Hall of Fame in my school. That my season, my season. Put your hands together for that. Yeah, Put your hands together for that. Yeah, recent <laughs> recent Hall of Fame. In what's Dundee. the school? What's the school? Uh, University of West Georgia. Oh, that's what's happening. Yeah. So like, uh, I, uh my senior year, um, we went to the semifinals. Um, I still got the school record for the most like rushing yards in the season. That season was like my like breaking season. That's your highlight. We yeah, we didn't have we did like that was my last season, but it was my, my greatest season. And so we didn't have a lot of guys going to the NFL out of my school. So it's like the chances were kind of like already with the D two school like that. So it's like, but I was I was still getting looked at, but I wasn't like putting myself out. I wasn't like right, recording wasn't videos of the, myself. The, the, the highlight reels and yeah, sending them out. Yeah, and... I wasn't doing all of that. I was just like, and that's kind of really you were just playing. I was just playing, and I'll be working out, training, all of that stuff. And um, but what ended up happening? I got a DUI, like in the midst of oh. me training for training for sports, right? Um, training to go to the NFL, and that ended up being like the only thing in the media about me. That's how that worked though. Especially you know what I'm for, saying? For black so, man, you know so I didn't have nothing. But the thing is, I feel like when if you I got all that positive stuff, they they looking for something negative. If I would have had more, if, you know, media, positive media. Yeah. Like that's why I'm marking myself how I do now with music. It's like 
you know, like, it's because I just learned well, lessons from that. Let me ask that. you this then. Like, where do you think the state of music is at right now? What do I feel like the state of it you is? You know, where with um, all of the new music that's coming out with, you know, it's a lot of deaths in the industry. It's, it's just a lot. Where, where do you think it's at right now? Overall? I mean, to be honest, man, um, I feel like music is, like, where it has been. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because... Oh, you got to go deeper than that. I don't even know yeah, what that means. That's nah, where it has been. <laughs> nah, for sure. Like, you know what I mean? You're thinking back to like around the time, like about like what how hip-hop first started. You know what I'm saying? What hip-hop was kind of like on around... You think about early hip-hop as far back as I could go. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. far back as I could think, like, you know, looking at, um, you know, how it was for... Nas and them and like you talk about like with the beefs and all of that stuff been going on yeah. like it's like you know but I mean you know I'm gonna, I go back a little bit more you know when hip hop started off more as a voice more revolutionary right. more you know what I'm saying remember the goal at first was to get the fuck out the hood uh -huh. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying. That's a whole different game. I feel like it's still that's why I say it feels like I, I feel like it's still what it has been because there's still that opportunity. That opportunity is still there, like to to be a to be a voice and to get yourself out of a situation, yeah. and you and still have the same awesome. opportunity to put yourself in a grave or put yourself behind bars too. You still yeah. got the same opportunity. I feel like those opportunities existed back then and they exist now. Now the thing that I could see that's very different is the um that the, the streaming industry and just like how yeah. What do you think about streaming? Um, compared I, I think, to physical sales, I think I it's lazy. To be honest, <laughs> I think it's lazy. You know, I, I feel like it's great. I feel like it's, you know, I feel like it. And and let me and before y'all cancel me, I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's lazy. Before y'all cancel, yeah, don't don't cancel me nah, too we quick. Say what the fuck we want to listen, say over here. Listen to the rest of what I gotta say. <laughs> it's lazy in comparison to putting in the real groundwork and like really having fans and really like connecting with people on a people scale. Like I think I, I believe that part. You, I think the fan part is different. Right. Because because of social media and stuff like that, it's easy as shit to get fans. Now, you just, you're right though, they're not connecting with them on a personal level. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're getting these guys now, they done sat at home and made student, you know, made songs galore and all of this shit. They ain't never been on stage in their life. Stage presence is right, trash as right. fuck. You know what I'm saying? So it's no real show and behind it. The showmanship, I don't think, is there anymore. It's just. Twenty niggas jump on stage and what the fuck, you know? Yeah, what I'm no, and that, I mean, and that's and that's part of the thing I'm thinking about. It, like, you know, yes, you could have a fan, but it, I mean, it could be a momentarily fan, a momentary fan. So it's, hell, that's I feel the reason like the why music it, is momentary. And, though. and I don't see a lot of last. I don't hear a lot of. I mean, you still have some, but I don't hear a whole lot of last. No yet. different than a tree. No different than a tree. The roots go deep enough. You you'll stay around for a while, but yeah, if you just went deep, if man. you just there, if you just there to show up, I take it right there. If you, you, say, you say no. <laughs> What you say? No different than a tree. If the, <laughs> the roots, roots, if the roots deep. run deep enough, you'll st you'll st you'll stay. You'll outlast you. You'll stay for the seasons. Now, if you just if you just a uh, 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 something just trying to get a little piece of glory, and you ain't worried about your roots being deep, yeah. you will see what happens in the fall, in the spring, when the wind blow, and you fly away, and you laying down flat, and ain't nobody thinking about you no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I your mean. streams went crazy. Yes, you had you look you was bright for a second. That's dope, man. That's cool as hell. Like. I, I think that's dope. If that's what you want, yeah. then that's I mean, what you yeah. want. I mean, you know financially, I don't trip. You know, yeah. I want niggas to eat. You know, one record to change your life. Exactly. So, I mean, and I'm just talking about, you know, man, maintaining. Like, and I, and I guess, and the reason why I say, and the only reason why I'm going back to saying streaming, the only reason why I say streaming is lazy. My whole point of saying that was just like, you don't, you can, you can do less and just have that one song be heard more. But there's far much more power with like doing more and being more in someone's mind. If that makes sense, like it's like you could you could it. I'm, it's like I know what I'm trying to say. I hope. No, I, I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. So that's that's uh, that's all I'm trying to say. And it's like and it's just not the the reward for the the reward for the artist is not you know it from from my understanding. Um, but you I know mean, maybe you're looking for. I mean, you might you're the type of artist I think that really cares about a lot of. You know what I'm saying? The culture, shit like that. So the reward would be different for you than, you know, somebody just jumping in, just trying to get a quick one. Exactly, exactly. You know, you know and I mean, that's why I say whatever people are looking for, you know, I support whatever people might be looking for. Like, if you're looking for something. Right. Yeah. If you look I hope you find whatever you're looking for. That's all right. I can say. If streams, if 20,000 streams, 100,000 streams, a million streams, you want one single to go crazy. That's it. Cool. If that's what you want, cool. If you want to go up more after that, I hope you do too. If you're satisfied with one single. Cool. I just, you know, 
Right. You know what I'm saying? You look for more. And, and, and let me not, and let me not say is let me not it's say streaming longevity. is lazy. Streaming is just another quick. I, I feel like it's a really good quick opportunity for just, people I, who I, might just want that. You know I what I'm saying? We, I wish we understood streaming. Like that's the only thing. Like who determines how many streams equal a sale? And uh, it's a lot of gray area in that stream and shit. And that's the part saying. that's got me like a little bit, you know, I guess that's why I, I was so like, disrespectful to stream. I mean, no, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like, like the YouTubes and, you know, the, the, all of that shit is the new fucking record label. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. It's the new record label model. Mm -hmm. You know, even though, you know, everybody's saying, you know, it's independent, this and that. If they shut that shit down, your shit shut down. Facts. You know what I'm that's saying? A, so it's still a, a means of control. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's like, I've been studying a lot of stuff, and it's like, don't get me wrong. It's like, you don't want to live in the past, but study the history, you know? You have to. Pay attention to, like, how people actually held people, like, held people's attention span without having social media because it's like, don't get me wrong. Yes, use social media as a tool. Yes, use streaming services as a tool. But yeah. what what does your name stand for when you walk into your local grocery store? What does your name stand for when you walk yeah. down your block or you go down, you know, to a local party? Like, I, I can you, can you hold shit. it down? You know what I'm saying? We had um, Cognac boys on here. And basically, um, they said some real shit. Like, you talk about Tupac when it comes to, like, the – you know, internet and shit like that. Of course, you know he was earlier than that. But the, the 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 thing is, is like the physical copies and shit like that. If they delete all of this motherfucking shit here, you know, hundred years from now, what's here to say that you existed, that you did Thanks. the music? Thanks. So physical shit is still important. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is overall. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you know what I'm saying. I say that to say this. You know, don't forget that part. Like. If you got, I mean, for artists that's really still out on the road and shit like that, you got to go down south, you going here and there. You know, hell, motherfuckers are still goddamn looking at them posters. Niggas are still goddamn, the old school promotional ways do still exist. And right. And still going hard. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's, you know, it's about com combining the two. You know what I'm saying? But don't, like, everything that's extra, look at it as extra, but don't forget the groundwork. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't, like, my, exactly. my thing is, don't take. Don't take the icing off the cake and say you eating cake. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Don't, like, bro, you got to make the you, cake first. You know right, what I'm you saying? Get your cake. eggs. Get, your, get all that shit first. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't put icing on a cardboard box and sell it to me. I'm going to be like, <laughs> bro, like, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? What yeah, if, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, don't bro, forget the groundwork. Don't I forget the groundwork. We, we finna get into this. Who are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to... Let, let you make them feel something. You feel Yeah, it? man. I'm, I think I'm going to just sit quiet for this one. I ain't even going to sing it. I'm going to just let it ride. <laughs> yeah. Why do women who love you? Make sure y'all go follow. That's that Haystacks with an X. H e y s t a x. Subscribe.
y'all y'all gotta go listen to so much hey, stuff. Yeah. I can't play it all for you. Yeah, go check that out. <laughs> go check that out. I had to let that one just speak for itself yeah. right there. You got you got a lot you got a lot of bangers on here. Man, appreciate uh, it. What producers you been working with over the time? Oh, uh, it's been it's been a few. Uh, shout out to Jake Angel. Jake Angel, this boy is all the way out there in Australia. My okay. boy, um, oh, you want some international shit? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this this is produced by uh, another dude, Blank, right here. He's okay. also in Canada. And then, um, I feel that then shit. my boy, a Bowser. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, watch out for Young Bowser. That boy is crazy. He's gonna be. I got a few songs coming out with him. <laughs> I ain't got nothing out with him yet, but he and I have been working. Um, a super hot producer. Um, he's from the north side as well. Um, he's actually signed with Sunny Digital right now, bro. Okay, what's bro, happening, Sunny? Bro, nice though. He nice. Uh, he, he uh, my dude Glenn. Um, he's out there in California. I've been working with him on some strings. Um, also my engineer. He also produces as well. Okay. Uh, Jerry. So that's over there. Next level sounds. That's in in um, Lawrenceville, in Gwinnett. So, um, uh, the, uh, the break the rules. That was by a dude named Next Lanes. Um. From uh, Next Lane, and then uh, Minute Maid. That's from my boy Eastside. So yeah, like I like I like I like different sounds. Uh, I think I'm always gonna keep it that way. Where I'm like, yeah, I, you I know, like, mixing I like it up. Cause you don't, like you don't sound like nobody else. You like everybody else. Even like the style, of dress, everything. Kind of what inspired you know what I'm saying what inspires you on that type of stuff. Man, I can tell you a quick story, man. <laughs> when I was in, I was in elementary school, and my and I was uh, it was came around that time for me to get new school shoes. And my dad would always, you know, take us to get our school shoes. And I'm telling him, I'm like trying to sell to him the shoes I want. Like I want the mid top to Air Force. Oh, I'm pitching them things. Like, <laughs> I want the mid top Air Force ones, all white. I'm like I could switch it out and put the fat laces in it. You know what I'm saying? Match, yeah. switch it up with my jersey, all of that. I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, my boy Brad got him. My boy Ken got him. Man, you see Bow Wow, he got him on. He's like, oh yeah, 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 that's what's up, that's what's up. <laughs> you and knew so, you had him. And so I'm like, and he was like, I, I was like, yeah, I can switch the fat laces out. I can wear the slouch socks with him, Dad. I'm gonna be killing him. You know, he was big on like style and dressing. I'm yeah. like, so he, he was like, all right, that sound, that's 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 a bet, that's a bet. So, uh, so I, we on the way to the mall. I'm hype. I'm telling them still about all my friends who got the shoes. We get to the mall. I pick them out. It's like I feel like. You could have cued the music where it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? When I saw him, I was so happy. Like, bro, the time is the here. Glowing. The time is here. <laughs> so I went and I gave him to my dad. I was like, these the shoes. He looked at them. He was like, oh, these them? I was like, yeah. He's like, who you said got them? I was like, Brad, Ken, this dude, that dude. He was like, you get any shoe but this one. Hey, that's a hell of a lesson, ain't it? Set that shit down. You can get any shoe you want in here. I don't care the cost. <laughs> get any shoe you want but that. I was like, man, uh, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? I was like, that's a hell of a I lesson. was hurt, but I picked that's out one of them shoe. You, you don't get it till later. Man, what? I picked out the Scotty Pippins. Nobody was re really rocking them at the time. The black with the blue and like blue and white gradient that came yeah. up. I picked those. They were like like twenty, thirty dollars more expensive than the Air Force Ones. But my dad got them for me, and I was just like, and I loved them. And I got to That's school, and nobody had the shoes yeah, I had. Standing out too. And everybody was like, "Yo, them shit's hard. Them hard." I'm like, <laughs> you know, even my homies with the Air Force Ones looking at them like, "Bro, what the fuck are those?" I'm like, "Yeah, they all look the damn uh, same." I'm looking at the bottom like, I think these Scotty Pippins or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a football player, <laughs> nigga. I don't even know nothing about basketball. Like, think these are Scotty Pippins. Like, and since that day, bro, I did what. I won, and I ain't follow the crowd ever. Like, that's what I'm talking you know about. what I'm saying? Ever. So yeah, that's a hell of a story. Mm -hmm. Like, so if there's any artist you can get a feature with, who would that be? Um, I'm expecting a wild ass answer. So <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> no, nah, seriously, go. somebody just <laughs> asked me this the other day, and like for real, I can't. This I'm trying to think of Tyler the Creator, bro. Ah, I would work with Tyler the Creator for real. Okay, okay. I'll do a track with him, like. That's yeah. somebody I would love to do a track with. Yeah, like, that's it. A lot if, about we talk, you, if we, we talking about in the too, industry, yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying, a lot of guys would never say that because of his sexuality, you know, right, his right, sexual right. preference. So for you to say that, that's say, you know what I'm saying, a lot about you as well. That boy is passionate about his music, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, he makes what he wants to make. and He does that's how like, he wants to do it. Yeah, you know? and like, you know, and seeing, like, seeing his versatility um, and, like, just his... Tyler, you see this? You know what time it is. You know his ability to create the... Uh, create the sounds that he wants to make the sounds that I haven't heard any place else that I'm right. hearing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 
yo, that's lit. You know, it's different like, shit. Him, him, even like, even like, and Kanye for the same reason. Like, I will, mm -hmm. I will work with Kanye too. Like, what you, for how, that what, same what you think about Kanye right now? You know, what, you know, a lot of stuff he got going on. And I mean, I'm, state I, of I, mind wise. I mean, and, honestly, I fuck with it. Like, it's like. I be I be fucking I, I fuck with it like I mean the only the one thing that I like you know call me racist if you want to but it's like, I'm not really you know what I'm saying but just the whole thing about him trip like it's like I just wish he would invest more into our women that's all I could say but besides that you know what I'm saying that's a hell of a own um, statement like, you just that's made, all though. I could say besides that unk I'm rocking with you I you know I go to bat for you. But fight for our women, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, let 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 us keep have Kim, man. Yeah, you know okay, what I'm so I'm, I'm gonna ask you. Now I know. I, I heard what you just said. Mm -hmm. Would you date a white woman? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by date? Define date. Shit, you know what the hell date mean? Date mean go out, take her out to dinner. You know, treat her. Court her. How about that? We I like I like his definition of it. I like his definition court. of it. Gonna, court? Yeah. I can't court now. Could I sport one <laughs> <laughs> for a quick second, like a, <laughs> yeah, a quick second? You know, like <laughs> like I mean, I'm sorry. It's just like I I just really feel at home with my home. With your sister, with, with, my, with my, I mean, I, I, I just feel like I just home feel, with. I, I'm, I'm, I don't give a motherfucker. Me, yeah, uh, I, I don't mind anyway. I don't, I won't date a white woman. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not going. It's too many black women out here. I ain't going to invest my time that for. Facts, I'm be a hundred with you. Facts, bro. I love my black women. My mm -hmm. mama was black. You know what I mean? My, right. my daughter black. Right, 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 you know right, right, what I'm right. Saying? Now that brings the question. Let's say if my daughter came home with a white man, how would I feel about that? I, am I asking myself that question? I don't know. <laughs> nah, I mean, I feel, what about you? I, I got me not because I got two kids. I have a son and a daughter. So Good, you, you know, know, looking at man. looking at that, I mean, you I know just it's I, weird. If my son came home with a white girl, I wouldn't give a fuck. Dude, you see, but it, if my daughter came home with a white man, I probably me being her father would probably look at her some kind of way, it, like because there's a follow aspect that comes along with that. Yeah, like there's a following thing that comes with that, like yeah, you know, being just being a man, like there's a there's a follow aspect to it like yeah. and i could understand why you would feel like that because it's like you know uh, uh, we looking at our daughters and i'm not trying to be you know sexist i'm just looking at our straight dna like how we I made mean, i might be a little you know, sexist you know, in certain ways I mean, I mean i'm that's i can't take how i was raised away right right so i do some of my qualities may be a little sexist you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i'm damn sure biased you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, when it comes yeah, to yeah. my sons and my daughter you know i love my sons my daughter I'm gonna always give her more mm. because I need to teach her that she don't need no motherfucking man. Facts. My sons, I'll probably give less mm. because I need to teach them how to go get the shit. Facts. So no. I am funny that way. Because that's a part of our nation. There's a, now, there's a difference between... Um, there's a difference between preference and nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. honestly, and this is one of my biggest things, as much as, like... That whole man and woman, are we the same? We're not the same. Not, that, the, reason why I can say, the same. the reason why I can say that is if a woman gets pregnant today, she is pregnant by that man for nine months and no other man. No matter what happens. That's, <laughs> that's right. who she pregnant by. Now, a man could go out here and get six women pregnant today for nine months straight. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just the, the DNA is different. So, I feel you on that. And to go back to your question, like, about them dating outside of the race, I feel like it's one of the things where it's like, it's not going to be because they're less or because we don't like them. It's right. just like, we love us that much that we're going to build us that much. You know what I'm saying? We're going to build or strengthen our nation more because we need to preserve our nature. We like, do. if they're going to teach you about preserving pandas at, at school and preserving... Tigers, lions, and bay, all right. these stuff. Like, boy, you better. We gotta preserve our shit too. You right. know what I'm saying? Now, the one thing I do respect about Kanye that I always keep in the back of my head, and I can kind of see where he's going with, 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 you know, sticking to his word. He says, "Advice to all my niggas: impregnate Bridget. So when she make a baby, so when she make a baby, she gonna make another nigga." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I I felt them on that one. It's like it's like I could see, but you know, that's the one part where I could I could justify. What he said because he's doing what he said he would do. Right. And, and when I heard the line, I, I felt him. You know what I'm saying? Like, we yeah. trying to preserve our nation. We trying to, like, right. you know, that's and that's our, anything it takes I mean, right to do now, that. It's, it's still a lot, you know, politically going on. It's a lot is really still out here happening. Right. You know, the cameras is catching that shit a lot more now. 
you know what I'm saying? It's been happening, but the cameras are catching it. So mm-hmm. we do have to look at things and treat things a certain way. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like you said, you got a son and a daughter. Mm-hmm. And, and, and married, maybe not married, girl. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to you know what I'm saying, protect your woman. Right. Too. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. You know, and shit, women... You know, yeah, they still, they have to protect us. Mm-hmm. Shit, we got the whole world against us. Facts, man. <laughs> you know, Facts. Man. Facts. So that, that shit is damn just different overall. 